All right, guys, welcome back. Let's talk Bitcoin because uh, it's looking pretty good behind the scenes. Obviously, the chart has dumped uh, this week a little bit, right? But uh, behind the scenes, if we are just looking at the ETF inflows here, guys, big, big money. OK, I'm talking I'm talking about here on the uh, the far right hand side. When we see numbers like this triple digit inflows daily. OK, this is an incredibly bullish sign. So I know the chart looks kind of bad right now, but uh, this this to me is a massive, massive sign uh, for Bitcoin to absolutely bang it here. If I can get this to load, uh, this is what we're really looking at here. Right. So we're seeing another green tick, many, many green ticks in a row right now on this. Uh, and this is uh, an indicator. Basically, it takes a lot of different on chain metrics, 60 plus on chain metrics, as you can see here, and then uh, combines it uh, into a kind of AI machine learning system that can determine whether Bitcoin's bullish or bearish or not, right? And we can see here when it is green, fantastic. So we will see here that it is currently green. It is looking to break out right now of a big, big trend lines. So yes, uh, for me, this is super bullish. Okay, this is super bullish. This is one of the most bullish signals actually out there. Okay, if you do just look at the, the data in the past, right? Uh, ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So uh, yes, if we can break over certain areas, i.e. 70k, I do imagine a lot of volatility around 70k. And obviously, after the election is really the time that you want to be looking at this, right? But uh, as of right now, it's a good run up so far. Let's see if it can continue. Okay, uh, besides that, what have we got here? What have we got here? Fear and greed. Okay, currently at 69. Uh, this is where we can expect a lot of volatility. But we are seeing that bullishness return to the market. OK, so perhaps a pullback to shake a little uh, a few people out here down to the, the mid low 60s and then an absolutely just ballistic pump arena towards the sky. That's what we're looking for here. Uh, and uh, yeah, if that can come into fruition, it's good. It's good for all of us. It's good for all of us here. OK, uh, let's take a look at the long term. Uh, the big structure for Bitcoin, obviously, we had this pump up, we broke that structure, we came down, okay, and now we're looking to get over this last resistance line, as you can see here. We did pop a little heads above it, but uh, as of right now, uh, yes, just trying to reclaim that. And when we do break this trend line, super, super bullish, okay, we can see pretty much every other run we've had, okay, let's take a look at this one, okay, when the big trend lines are broken, that's when we can start to, uh, to really look at this in a bullish light, all right, so we can can see here right big big trend lines broken bang okay straight towards the moon so uh, there's a few criteria you want to be looking for here if you are more of an investor okay you're just looking for that 40 percent over the a few months right then uh, yeah I would I would obviously wait for all-time high I would wait to get above 76k and then from that point if we can hold that zone okay it's basically straight up from there to 100k and that's that's a decent decent bit of money you can get in like a month maybe two months here okay so 20 percent potentially here up to this line anyway uh, but this line is uh, usually just the middle line in in our bull runs okay so if we look at our previous one one, this yellow line here, which is based on Fibonacci and a linear regressional uh, growth curve. OK, uh, you don't need to know what that is. It's just basically the rainbow chart using maths to determine how uh, how big the range is every, every cycle. Right. But uh, we can see here it's it's usually in the middle. It's usually in the middle. Right. As of right now. Uh, yeah, we are below that. So if we can get above that. I mean, we could target very, very high levels, 250K potentially here, uh, if this does want to absolutely smash it towards the sky, right? But uh, I, I'm, I'm neutral here, right? I'm going to say, or non-biased at least, I'm going to say uh, there, there is criteria in which we do dump here uh, based on the election, re election results and all of that good stuff. So there is potential that we do come down and retest this trend line again. Uh, so just be aware of that, of course. But just quickly, guys, don't forget to check out Bybit for a $30,000 deposit bonus with the link below. And uh, if you are more of a non-KYC type of guy or, or woman or in between, whatever, right, we can see that we have Apex here. Apex is actually, um, it's kind of like a sister company to Bybit, but what we will say is very, very simple. It's a DEX, okay? It's a DEX. You just connect your wallet, okay, and then you can trade leverage. Very easy. I've been using this for a week now. I absolutely love it. I may even just leave exchanges altogether <laughs> and use this. This is insane. OK, you can trade all your favorite assets. OK, any chain. You've got Omni here that partner with these guys. So obviously you can cross to any chain very, very easily. You just trade the asset. Super simple. And uh, yeah, honestly, probably one of my favorite decks. I've been saying this for a few years. Dexes like this will come about and we are 
finally at this time where the technology is there. So uh, yeah, definitely check these guys out. They also have a uh, little tap tap game airdrop if that interests you as well. But uh, what I will say is, uh, yeah, this is a fantastic uh, little DEX decentralized exchange, which is, it's, it's groundbreaking. Honestly, it really is. So definitely check this out if you're a non-KYC type of guy like myself. And besides that, let's get back to the video. Uh, as of right now, it does look like we want to pump up. We won't really see this resolution until probably tomorrow, uh, whether we do continue the pump or whether this pump is just us absorbing this, this kind of by pressure from the wick towards the other side before continuation down, right? Uh, so we'll see how this goes. But as of right now, the on-chain looks ridiculous. That supply is just getting gobbled up by all of the institutions, right? And that's really what you want to be looking at, supply and demand. Demand is very, very high. Supply is running out, okay? So what we will say with this is, yeah, I mean, it's destined to go up, <laughs> right? It's just when will that happen is, is the real question here. I would say middle of November is when we do begin this. We may get a little swan event first, maybe uh, the, the boys, the boys behind the scenes, okay, the hand may uh, may decide to uh, to rock rock the markets a little bit uh, with whatever they're doing um, with geopolitical whatever, right? <laughs> right, you guys know what's happening around the world, right? But uh, if um, if if stuff like that happens, then yes, we will get black swans. Unfortunately, that's just the way it goes. But after that, we are still going to be expecting a massive V-shaped recovery, okay, and uh, yeah, potentially just banging it into a new bull market towards the end of the year. That's really what I'm looking at right now, okay? In terms of volume weighted ATR bands, we've got the four hour down here, 59K or 60K we'll call it, all right? Uh, and then 70K being the upper one here, right? So that's really the range we're in right now. Unless we can break out of that range, uh, that's pretty much what I'm expecting, okay? So depending on tomorrow, whether we do get a big pump up, uh, it's, it's up for debate, of course, but uh, if we do get a big pump up out of that range, then uh, it's looking very, very good for next week. But again, just, just expect some spillover towards this election. It's going to get super volatile. And yes, there will be all these short liquidations around 70k these boys are targeting. Okay, so uh, yeah, I mean, it will get super volatile where people will just be banging in shorts under 70k. and They'll be banging in longs over 70k. So yes, expect that consolidation around that area. Um, and uh, yeah, if it is going to be a landslide victory for your boy, then uh, I will just say that it's very likely we just smash through. Okay, uh, but we don't know. We don't know really how 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 well uh, and how <laughs> organic this system is okay i'm very trying to choose my words very carefully here but uh, we don't know how organic the system is right so what we will say is um yeah just be careful just be careful because it might not go the way you think it's going okay um but we will look at this as liquidation levels as you can see here and these liquidation levels are uh, they're going to be pretty decent okay for nice pullbacks for nice volatility around this area uh, and then if we do get that open interest spike here which is looking like it's going to do we will actually get another blue line towards the downside here which will be a liquidation of 10x from whatever point this comes through to so uh, yeah what we will say here is um yeah, it does look like uh, it does look pretty good right now, as you can see. It does look pretty good. But if we do get a blue line appear somewhere around the mid to low sixties, uh, that's actually going to be an area we should probably target if we do get uh, certain results from certain. Um, things in the world okay you guys know what i'm talking about but um yeah as of right now testing the 15 minute if we do go down to this lower time frame right testing that 15 minute it's looking pretty bullish i'm gonna say it's looking pretty bullish right now guys bang that's what we want all right if we are looking for a trade here guys uh, the reason why i haven't put any signals out this week for you guys as well and i do apologize for that but uh, i have been a little bit sick and uh yeah i mean i'm dealing with floods and stuff in my villa which is, is not great you've heard of all the floods in thailand right now it's not that bad like you see on the news but uh yes there is water on the floor and stuff so <laughs> we need to uh, we need to be careful on that front with all the tech I've got so uh, and all, all of the uh, ledgers and stuff like that right so you got to be you got to be smart with this stuff and I'm, I'm trying not to uh, push my luck in this situation but I, I managed to record today for you guys so uh, good stuff there but if you are going to push me for a trade here guys uh, I'm just going to say it's we're pretty we're basically at this point where we could long um I would say wait for this high to come in, wait for the retest, and then when we break that high, there's a pretty decent long upwards here, okay? Just be aware of the traps. It's going to be very, very trappy, very volatile, very much a 50-50 coin flip on a lot of trades in this area, guys, okay? Uh, and yes, if you do, if you if you are one of these people that use stop losses, which if you are a beginner, I would recommend. They're kind of like the train, the trade training, training wheels, right? If, if you were riding a bike, there would be the training wheels where it's like, okay, I'm going to go to sleep. I'm going to leave them on, right? Uh, or if you're a newer trader and you, you kind of, fall victim to uh to getting that adrenaline and closing your trades or whatever then uh yeah i mean 
that stop losses can be good. Okay, stop losses can be good. But what I will say here is uh, most traders in the space, they won't have stop losses very close, right? And particularly in areas like this, their stop losses will be wider because of all the volatility. Okay, so just be aware of that. If you are a trader, uh, it's good to always know that. Okay, because uh, when you do take those training wheels off, and you are confident in the macro direction. And yeah, when we do get these big shakeouts like we had over there, right? Then uh, yeah, I mean, you're gonna be a lot less, um, what's the word here? A lot less destroyed <laughs> by the market here, okay? So good stuff there. We'll see if this does continue or go up. Uh, sometimes with the 15 minute, we can just completely dump from it. So uh, just be aware of that. We have been in a downtrend. We have been in the spillover period, but if we can start banging it up here, there may be a small trade you can target here. But again, be very, very careful, okay? Be very, very careful. 1% is fine here if, you, if you're interested in it. Um, and that could be from here up to there and that will be uh 68k all the way up to about 69 uh, if you're if you're an audacious fellow right but besides that if you are a bit more newer to the trading scene uh it's better to just leave this here i think uh just just let this play it out play it out for a couple weeks okay watch how the markets react to big like economic financial world changing events like we're seeing right now okay uh, and and just bank that knowledge because there will be other events like this in the future so uh yeah you don't want to be caught out uh, in big volatile markets like we are in now okay uh, but besides that yes always look for those all-time high breaks always look for that macro break towards the upside because this is where the real money is guys it, honestly this is this is where the real money is everything else is is very much a lower win percentage but if we break this high it's very very good very very good and very easy to make money from this market there right so cool stuff there we'll see if this does break through at the moment Moment. Yes, we have had a lot of green candles in a row, so pullback is probably expected, but we'll see how we do after that. All right, uh, that is going to be it from me, guys. Have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next one. And uh, don't forget to like the video. Leave a comment on that bad boy as well. See you, see, 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 see you later.